Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two. This is not financial advice. I just hope a bunch of them is baby because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, please do me a favor and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. YouTube has been mysteriously unsubscribing people. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you get the notification when the videos come out, baby. Let's get it. And let us know where you're from in the comments. Now, let's talk about it, baby. The first banger on the list. And remember, I'm not telling you to buy hold or sell before we even get to the first banger on the list family remember you have to categorize these things i want to just be absolutely clear with you on that check this out you have to categorize these things and what do i mean by that i mean that you have to say okay is this a foundational stock for me where most of my portfolio is going to be in there where are we putting it is this going to be an individual stock that i hold long term is this going to be a swing trade for me or an option right Take a screenshot of this breakdown like we always do. You already know what time it is. But for us, BBIG is an option play, baby. It's an option play. Because remember, when you don't have a category for where you're holding this, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up just straight up buying it here, BBIG, or you're going to end up buying it here. And next thing you know, when the momentum is done, you're going to end up holding the bag. And we're not trying to do that. It could always graduate to be an individual stock one day. But for now, it's an option. For now, it's a swing trade. But particularly for us, it's an option. Meaning that we cannot put more than 5% of our portfolio in this. Okay, so now, let's go. Take a look at this, family. BBIG at the time of this recording is 505. Remember, I'm always going to teach you how to fish so you can learn for yourself. Okay, this is how I... Do the charts. This is what I need to do to make sure that I'm getting paid rather than paying in tuition. When you pay to learn, you pay that tuition, baby. Remember, now, let's keep it going. Notice at this time of this recording, we're currently 508, 505 in that low $5 range. But we are on a slight downtrend during the market pre and after hours, right? So it got all the way up to near 6 and then it found resistance. Since we identified that it found resistance up here, what we are going to do is put a resistance line or just a flat line right there. BBIG had trouble getting over that. So what does this mean? This means that, okay, it's time to watch and see if we can break over that because if we do, then you know what? We're going to make this green because, boom, we could go on a rocket if we pass that 599. That's one level that I want you to just be on the lookout for. What am I on? I'm on Weeble's desktop, okay? So now, you see that. Let's take a look at this. We have a support line down here. At 470 this support line if it breaks that family this could be a free fall you could look further back and just double check where is the next support beyond that but it could fall really really far if it breaks this line but again you could look way farther back so now let's keep it going and let's take a look we want to see it keep bouncing off of this more recent line of support which is basically about five flat we want to see this thing and ride it all the way back up to the six dollar range that's what we're hoping for right but if we don't it is what it is you got to learn how to make money on the way down okay don't just get married you got to think three-dimensionally you got to think what do i do if it's going down what do i do if it's going up this is why i want you to join the discord the discord link is in the top of the chat right it's pinned it says a rocket right there and it says discord or it's in the description if you want to join the discord again let's go over here you go to the description you'll see the link right here discord community come on down join so you can get into the options class and we can make money like that so let's see right shout out to my guy aj in the comments shout out to my guy echo in the comments too i appreciate y'all so now let's keep it going i want you to see this take a look at sofi take a look at sofi right here notice when I took this screenshot, it could be a little bit different by the time you see this, but I took it not too long ago, like five minutes ago or less. 17% in a pre-market. What is going on with SoFi? And remember, family, I'm trying to get you on the boat ahead of the game, right? I don't want you to just see it. it's up 17% today, and then you're like, okay, yeah, now let's start looking at it, right? Notice that, again, I ask you to hit the subscribe. I ask you to join the Discord so you could be up on the play as early as we are because if we go back in time, if we go back in time, we'll see. Let's go to videos. Look at this. Two stocks, right? Stream one day ago. Actually, it's almost 48 hours ago. We were just we were talking about this. Two stocks that I'm looking at, SoFi being one of them, right? Okay, so now, remember, make sure you got the subscribe button hit. 
Make sure you got the notification bell hit. I want you to be ahead of the game on this type of stuff. So, okay. Now, let's keep going and let's see what's actually going on with them. What's actually going on with them that got them pumping up like this? Because, again, we love to see it. Just know that. We love to see it. So, what is going on? Let's go over here. SoFi stock soars after clearing final. Not the first, not the second, not the third. The final regulatory hurdle to become a bank. SoFi is officially a bank straight up. Before they were just kind of like a fintech kind of company, right? Where they did a financial services through technology like an app, but now they are a bank. Basically, when you look at all of the regulatory things they have going on. So let's look at the key bullet points right here. Let's zoom in so those of you in the back can make sure that you can see this. So here we go. San Francisco Bay SoFi got approval from its two key regulatory or regulators to become a bank holding company. Boom, family, they, they straight up, they did it. Now, let's see this. You say you just killed the first quiz on the option course? Let's get it, baby. I love to see it. Shout out to Kareem. Now, it says this. Shares of the FinTech spiked 16%. We just noticed. Now, almost 18%, right? In the after hours following this announcement. Okay, this is important, right? Because it allows them to add a broad suite of financial products and services to better their or their for our members. Or let me go back. I messed it up. So this is important. This is an important step because it allows them to add a broad suite of financial products and services to better be there for our members during the major financial moments in their lives. So they're going to be able to just and this is the CEO who said this. His name is Anthony. So, again, we love to see it. Shout out to SoFi. But remember, I want you to remember this. When you look at SoFi, you have to categorize it. It's come down a significant amount. Let's look. So, SoFi right here, S-O-F-I. Look at this, family. It's $14. This thing has come down a lot. It was $28, right? And it just bounced between these levels, $24. And then as recent as November, which is not too long ago, keep in mind it's January, as recent as November, this thing was $24. And it has dropped all the way down to $12 and bounced back up a little bit all the way to 14, right? So where are we holding such a volatile play? Ask yourself this. Do you want your entire portfolio to be able to bounce from 24 to just cut in half and go to 12? You don't. So... When you categorize this in your portfolio, you do not want it to be a foundation. You don't want this to be all of the other stocks and options are sitting on this, right? So we can't have SoFi here in this location on our foundation. Individual stock, maybe, maybe, but definitely we could swing trade, get in low, sell it high, and then definitely we could play the options on SoFi, right? I don't want to hear people are holding so many of this stock and this is going down, 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 down. We could then upgrade it one day to an individual stock that we hold on to. But for now, you got to try to get in low and then get out high. Now, it's easier to think about like that when it's a trade, when you're thinking about options. Now, shout out to you. You said school dude said, bruh, bring them sweatshirts back. I need one. Oh, proper preparation prevents poor performance, baby. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. The five P's. Remember that. You always got to keep that in mind. Okay, so now that we got that out the way, take a look. Just yesterday, quickly, we got in, got up, got out, and we made $430, 29%, I want to say it was seven minutes or so, less than 10 for sure, on a BBIG $5 call, family. Then we straight up got out of it, and now we could get back in it. Be mindful of your day trade limit. If you have a day trade limit, be mindful of that, right? Okay, now let's keep it going. Check this out. Let's go to BBIG and see what they're doing right now. So, okay, great. Looks like they're showing a little bit of strength. But when we look at and remember, what do we mean by strength and weakness? You got to understand the MACD and the RSI. The MACD, this is this right here. And the RSI, this is this down here. These are our indicators of strength and our indicators of weakness. So on the minute chart, notice that the RSI, anything below 30, is considered oversold. Oversold meaning way too much selling. So it's likely to stop being sold at least for a short amount of time. And notice on the RSI, we are about 40. So we're not oversold just yet. There's still a few, let's call it a bit of momentum that can basically go down with SoFi. 
before it's considered oversold. However, it's in a decent mid-range. Now, we're looking at the MACD right here. Our blue line is our important line. We want to see, is it over the orange line or under? Right now, it's under, but if it approaches and crosses over the orange line, then we could ride the momentum up. And then when we see it crossing back over, we could jump out and we could play the trade just like that, just like we did yesterday. And we made a quick 29%. What happens is oftentimes people want to make so much money in terms of hitting a home run, not even the money. They want to hit the percentage to 100 every single time when they forget that the percentage is attached to a number. When I seen 430, I say, whoa. I like that. I like 100. So you know I like 430, so then I took it. The percentage is a nice thing. It's the icing on the cake, but you really are trying to make money at the end of the day. That's what we're trying to do, make money. So let's say that you were up 100%, but you only made $3. Oh, that's, come on now, right? That's ridiculous. Let's say that you made 29%, but you made $430. At the end of the day, it's about making money money. Do you see what I'm saying? So don't be so married. We do like the big percentages. Let's be clear on that. If we hit 10,000%, 1 million percent, whatever, we like that. But at the end of the day, it's really about the money. You want to make money. So don't be too married to the to the hitting the home runs, which is 100% or all of those things. We like that, but we got to understand at the end of the day, again, it's all about how much did you make on a play? Did you make enough money for yourself? So now let's get it. You said Keenan dropped the mic yesterday. <laughs> let's go. Shout out to you, Chris. Appreciate you, family. So we're keeping our eye on this. Another one we're keeping our eye on is Lucid. Right? Another one we're keeping our eye on is Lucid. So on the watch list, everybody who's in the Discord, Take a look at the watch list. I'm looking at specific levels and I'm looking for strength or weakness on these specific levels that I posted last night, Eastern time at 9, 12 p.m. I posted the watch list on Lucid. I'm looking at either a call or a put because remember, we have to think about this three dimensionally, whether or not we want to get into a call or whether or not we want to get into a put. We use our RSI and our MACD as our signs of strength or resistance do you understand what i'm saying so okay straight up we love to see it now let's look we see sofi pumping baby let's go sofi is pumping you said you learned your lesson if you make 100 you happy let's talk about it baby come on now let's get it and look at sofi going crazy i love to see it let's look at the options before the market even opens we got two minutes we want to see oh yeah notice though family notice this look at the rsi the RSI is at 70 right now. Keep in mind, it could go to 80, it could go to 90, it could go higher than this, but the RSI is at 70, it got up to 74. That's this level right here. You see how it's kind of filled in, right? It can go all the way up to 74, which means, he said, bro, doing a bit, I appreciate you. And Ron, much love. I'm saying it may correct, no disrespect. I appreciate you for keeping the lights on in here, family. Shout out to you for the super chat. Much love. All right, and let's get it. Shout out to SoFi. So look, if you're reading the technicals, and I was telling everybody when we were talking on a Discord voice chat that you got to understand, if you get in on the technicals, then you got to get out on the technicals, family. You can't get in on the technicals. For example, let's say that you see the RSI right here cross up, the blue one cross above the orange, and then you get in on the technicals, and then you see it cross back under and drop under. Then this means the technicals are telling you now to get out. So then you got to listen to it. And if you're not listening to it, then you are listening to your emotions. But you didn't get in on emotion. So then you're playing two different games at once. And this is why you will lose. Because you're playing two different games when you have to just play one. Okay, now, what am I looking at? I'm looking at SoFi right now. And I see it pumping, baby. I love to see it. So what we want to do is at least keep our eye on a potential swing trade of this. Because remember... On a swing trade, you can make money on the way down. You can make money on the way up. But we're talking about with options in particular. So I love to see it. Somebody said, look at DWAC real quick. I got you. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, it's showing some volatility. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. You love how I teach. I appreciate you for that. So let's go back to SoFi. So look, we just talked about this. You said, nice with my hands, my guy. Keeping the lights on it here, baby. Oh, yeah, it's hot. It's hot in the kitchen. Appreciate you for that. So, you said, where's the Discord voice chat? It's at the bottom of the Discord. When I'm in there, I open it up. Okay, so now, let's see. So far, again, we see that the RSI on the one minute, it cooled off a little bit, right? But it's still kind of high-ish at 60, but it cooled off. It's no longer oversold. But look at the MACD. Do you see this? Do you see this blue line? 
looking to cross over the orange line to show us a downtrend. Do you see that? Right? You see? So this is our signal of weakness. So we didn't we don't have to jump in. You see what I'm saying? You said 100% facts. I get the technicals and I come up, but then I hold on too long from getting greedy and thinking I can run up more, need to take small wins, and it adds up positive. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. So look, now that we see the MACD crossed over on the one minute, remember the one minute is just, we just use this as small increments just to make sure that everything is, you know, going our way, but we use it for quick entries, right? If we want to invest in a longer time frame, then we have to use longer time frames. So let's go to Lucid and let's use an example. Look at this. Look at this. I know there were so many different people asking me about Lucid puts, right? And if for good reason, for very good reason. What's going on with Lucid? Let me just show you. And remember, you want to think three dimensionally. You never want to think one dimensionally like, oh, I'm going to get a call. I'm going to get a call. I'm going to get a call. You want to think three dimensionally. What will I do if it starts to go up? What will I do if it starts to go down? Right. We think three dimensionally. Understand me on that. You get a put. Sometimes you will get smoked. You get a call. Sometimes you will get smoked. But you got to understand that you got to think, OK, under what circumstances will I get a call? Under what circumstances will I get a put? If you look at the watch list, you'll see those circumstances for me. Right. I need to see strength above a certain point and then I need to see weakness below a certain point. OK, so now we're up here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go. I love it. Look at that. Yo, where my where my buttons at? Hold up. Look at that. And we'll talk about the reasons, too, because you got to remember, I told you this and I want you to understand. Let's go here and let's just check this out real quick. Wall Street fund managers are tracking retail traders. I told you about those data scientists a long time ago. Could we get some data scientists in the chat? Could we get some science in the chat, family? I'm talking microscopes. I'm talking scientists. I'm talking <laughs> I'm talking telescopes, family. Could we get I'm talking DNA. Could we get some science in the chat? The data scientist is watching you, and I'm gonna show you what's going on. So Wall Street fund managers are tracking retail traders by monitoring social media. Look at this. Do you see Lucid pumping up like this? Do you see this? What's going on? Let's check it out. And again, if you were in a voice chat, I want to say a week ago, we talked on this and we spoke on this. Lucid has a lockup period for January 29th. Oh, that's today. That's today. Oh, I see the scientists in the chat. Let's get it. So that's today. What is supposed to happen? Remember, the lockup means the big dogs who own the stock, they basically got ready the first time this happened and they let go of the stock. And let's look, it dropped 8%. You see this? It fell 8% the last time this happened on September 1st. But remember, when it strikes twice, the second time isn't, they say the first cut is the deepest, like in a breakup. But guess what? The first cut of a lockup is the deepest. The second cut of a lockup is it's a coin toss. Do you understand what I'm saying? So in this case, the big dogs who are watching the retail investors saying, yeah, they think it's going to drop. They think it's going to drop. Guess what? They try to make money on your back and basically kill you with it. So again, you always got to think three dimensionally, not just as if it's just going to go down or as if it's just going to go up. So, OK, what we're looking for now is the levels on Lucid. Notice we have a resistance line up here which is somewhat being respected, but we want to see what keeps happening, right? So let's check it out. We want to see what keeps happening on this so then we can see if it's time to jump into a put or jump into a call. You said KG 600% up on SoFi option. You said you got out. Let, let's, let's win. Let's win. Okay, so let's see. We just seen some type of weakness on SoFi, a little bit of weakness, right? But now... When we look at my RSI, won't pop up on the bottom. You can see that it's blank. Here we go. Look, it's oversold, right? It's down in that 30 level, which means it's turning back up. It's turning back up. So then we can see that we're getting some positive pressure. However, the momentum is still bad because the MACD, this blue line, is under this orange line. And they're spreading out even further, showing that it's getting even more over time, over time, weaker. But we want to see this blue line start to cross back up. And then we can ride the wave back up. But for now, it's showing this weakness. But it's not showing enough weakness to get a put. Because again, the RSI is at 30, which means that the it has a chance to turn around. So you don't want to play the you don't want to roll the dice on that. So okay. Let's see. Let's go back over here to Lucid. 
Let's take a look at our two indicators. Remember, when I ask you if something dead or not even dead, I ask you if something is showing weakness or if it's showing strength. Look at this. Do you see the RSI over 70 and then it just dropped down like this? This is a sign of weakness up here. And then you look at the MACD, you see how the MACD is trying to cross back. It could use this line as a support line and bounce off of the orange line. But for now, as it's headed there, it's showing a level of weakness. So now, Thim, let me ask you to do me a favor. Could we get this to 1,000 likes? We have 2,000 people in the building. Could we get it to 1,000 likes? Where are we at? 700? Let's get it to 1,000, baby. Much love. I appreciate y'all. Now, let's get back to BBIG. Now, look at this. Do you see? It showed all of that weakness. And now we have our MACD level. looking This blue line right here looking as if it's getting rejected by this orange line, which is another sign of weakness. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's another sign of weakness, but at least in the short term, not necessarily the long term. But for now, we're seeing weakness. We want to see this blue line cross over the orange line to give us a sign of strength. And remember, there are going to be so many people who get smoked on BBIG. Why is that? Why is that? Because they've never categorized it like I told you. Where are we treating BBIG? We're treating it like an option. At most, we're treating it like a swing trade. Look at the chart over here. Your foundation, this is your VTI, your VOO, your ETFs that pay dividends. Then you have your individual stocks, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google, Microsoft, Tesla. These are individual stocks. Then you have your swing trades. No more than 10% of your portfolio could be in that. And then you have your options. No more than 5% of your portfolio could be in that. Before you get into a momentum swing trade kind of a play, family, you got to basically say, where am I putting this? And this is where we put this. In here. But you're going to have some people who put their whole portfolio in that and then it's going to come down and go up and be down like a roller coaster and we don't want that do you understand what i'm saying we don't want the roller coaster now look the macd crossed and we're showing we're showing a sign of strength however the rsi is getting high so this one is a straight up roller coaster baby now we do have our first opening support level where is it it's down here it's down here we have our opening support level that this would be a crazy sign for BBIG right here. Let's make it red because it wouldn't be a good sign. It would be a sign of weakness on the day. If we passed 483, that would be a sign of weakness, family, straight up. You said aren't options and swings basically the same thing? Yeah, but I'm talking about holding the stock as a swing versus swinging the options. Let's just be clear on that. So you said AMC hit 22 today. Let's go. I'm diamond handing that. You said Lucid is bouncing back up. Let's go back to it. Sometimes it's hard to watch 100 different stocks at once. So look at Lucid. We showing some strength. Now, why is it showing the strength? Let me show you why. Because people who had some uncertainty, they're no longer feeling that uncertainty in that. Let's go here. The largest shareholder, and let's zoom in for those of you in the back again. You forgot your reading glasses. I understand. I got you. So here we go. The largest shareholder by far of Lucid is the Saudi Public Investment Fund. It holds 67.2% of Lucid. They're not selling apparently. They're not selling apparently because if they were, they would have flooded the market with a lot of shares. But they're not doing it. So then guess what? Lucid is showing strength. Straight up. Straight up. So then it is what it is. But we do have a resistance line up here that we want to see if we could break through it or not. So it's as simple as that. So now I'm thinking about like yesterday, getting into a potential option like like I did yesterday with BBIG. I'm thinking about getting into it right where I made four hundred and thirty dollars. Right. But last time I showed you how to play offense, you get money and it's going your way. Boom. Everybody knows how to do that. Everybody knows how to play offense. Right. It's kind of like. It's kind of like this. And many of you, let me know. Give me a yes or a no. Have you ever went skiing or snowboarding? Have you ever, yes or no? Have you ever went skiing or snowboarding? Right? Everybody who has gone either skiing or snowboarding, even if you are totally new, Everyone knows how to go fast. Everyone knows how to go fast. But 
Those who have experience know how to slow down. When you ski or snowboard, everyone knows how to go fast. You could put somebody on a, you could put a dog on a sled and they will go fast down a hill. But will they know how to slow down? Will they know what to do if they see this tree? No, they won't. And they'll crash right into it. So many of you are saying, no, I promise you, if I sit you on a sled, you will go fast down this hill. If I sit you on a snowboard, you will go fast down the hill. But you won't know what to do when it's not going your way when you see a tree in your way. Now, what am I using this example for? And shout out to Lucid. Look at that. Shout out to Lucid. Why am I using this example? Because I want you to see and I want you to understand. And family, just know, I'm about to get into an option on Lucid. Discord fam, I already showed you which one. Go and check it. I'm swing trading this. The reason I bring you that example, and I wasn't I wasn't paying attention to it right just yet, but I had I did put the level up there earlier, but I had stopped paying attention for a second. The reason I'm bringing you this example is because this is why some people don't trade live. Because if it's going their way, whoa, right? Like with BBIG, it was going my way. This is like going fast and going up, right? But what if it isn't going my way and I encounter a wall or I encounter a tree and I don't know what to do, right? Boom, you get smacked into the tree and next thing you know, you hurting. So if you get into an option and you running it up, okay, cool, let's win. But what do you do when it goes the opposite way? You got to learn how to slow down and how to play defense, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So now let this thing cool off. A little bit notice the rsi is really really high still at 60 it keep getting to 70 and then cooling off but now what i'm looking to do at this point is get into a swing trade on a lucid option and guess why i'm doing that because i'm either going to show you how to go fast and just run it up or how to play defense when it's not going your way because i see a tree and then boom you know what what do i do do i crash into the tree no this is when you say, okay, how do I play defense? How do I average down? How do I buy another call? How do I buy, how do I, how do I play this, right? That's what you got to know and understand. Okay, so now let's keep looking at it. A lot of people are so pumped that this is not, hold up, here we go. A lot of people are so pumped that this is not being sold off like crazy. Here we go. So I'm looking at this. I'm trying to get a, a good entry. I'm going to do my first entry I'm looking for. I'm trying to let this show weakness, right? You see how the MACD line is coming over here? So, again, remember, I'm going to show you a swinger day, so I'm trying to swing it today. You say you're going to run into a tree and be right back here crying to me? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about it. Okay. So, look at the MACD. Do you see how it's trying to cross right here? We want to see it bounce up. Right. We don't want to get in on bad momentum. But remember, this is the one minute time frame. Can you see that? This is the one minute time frame. This is not to be taken. This is a fast mover. Right. So, OK, we want to see. Are we going to cross or are we going to bounce? This is going to be sort of our signal. And remember, if you're watching me, we're on the Internet, family. There's going to be a little bit of a delay. So you got to know how to do what you do, how to do this. OK, so I'm getting in the game. Right now, I'm either going to show you how to get busy or how to play defense. Either way, I'm going to get busy, right? I'm going to show you how to play defense or I'm going to show you how to just go fast and play that offense. So let's see. I'm, no, I'm looking at this right here. I'm trying to get a decent entry. I do not, if this thing crosses and drops on me, then I would be either willing to, let's call it, see if it turns around. I'm trying to get in and I'm trying to get busy. Let's see. We had a pivotal point. Do you see what we're looking at right here? You see what we're looking at right here? We want to see. Is this going to bounce off of the MACD level? Right here. Let's see. Look at the suspense. Look at the suspense. If it crosses, we could get a huge red candle. But if it bounces, then we get a we get a green candle. Let's see. Let's see what happens, baby. You said BBIG is going to leave so many bag holders. Remember, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure that you do what? Put it in the proper category so you understand. Okay. So now let's see. 
Oh, look at that. We got it's hovering a bit. Okay. Here we go. Show me some show me some positive momentum, baby. Let's see, Mac D. Let's see. What are we gonna do? Now remember, I'm day trading this. If you can't day trade, then sometimes you could just watch. And you gotta have a set amount. Because remember, I'm gonna show you. If I'm trying to get into a play, and then all of a sudden, let's say a tree pops up, boom, a big red tree. What do I what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And I'm gonna show you what to do. I'm gonna show you what I do and how I play it. All right. So look, you see this? The MACD, it crossed over. I want to see if it's going to cross over again or if it's going to... What I'm looking for now is, does this blue line and this orange line spread from each other with the blue one going down? All right, Discord fam, look at stocks of the week. Look at stocks of the week, and you can see my order. So far... I'm up like $45. It's not crazy, but I'm up like $45. And again, you don't have to have as much money as I'm putting into this. Right? It's not about that. It's about can you buy one contract? Can you play it? I'm playing it right now with about $1,500. And how am I playing it? I'm playing it on the technicals. I'm playing it literally on the MACD. If the MACD... Starts to show me all of this weakness, then I'll let her go. But if it's showing me strength, then I'll hold on. And I'm not going to say, no, I'm going to try to feel for it. I'm going to try to feel for it. I'm not trying to feel for it. I'm trying to listen to the MACD. You see what I'm saying? I'm not feeling for this. So, again, Discord family, take a look at Stocks of the Week, and you'll see what I'm doing. Right now, where am I with this? Let me show you. I'm up about $55 on it, I just tell you. So I'm got to send a million different screenshots. I'm up $65, right? Cool. $70. Let's go. $70. Just winning. Let's let's win. And let's see what it does. Remember, how am I trading this? I'm not trading this on emotion. I'm trading this on a MACD and the RSI right now. But look at this. What I'm looking for is if this blue line Keeps starts to spread out below the orange line. I don't want to see that. If I see that, then that's my sign to get up out of this, right? Because I'm trading it on a MACD and I can always get back in. But for now, doing well. I would love to get a, a pump up, but let's see what happens. Because I see, again, it's starting to spread. So this is what I'm going to do. Now that I see it start to spread, I'm looking potentially to let her go however I'm, I'm gonna hold on for a little bit right now but i'm looking to potentially let her go you see you see the magd is starting to spread right here showing me that weakness showing me that weakness but the rsi is where is it 55 that's decent right straight up you said bow tie check i'm actually gonna go i'm actually gonna go in I'm trying to bring back the blazer. I'm trying to bring back the bow tie, all of that, right? But I, having COVID, let me tell you something about having COVID. It kicked you, you know what? So I had to just chill and, and be laid back and throw on a hoodie. You understand what I'm saying? You said this is what, like watching grass grow. Yo, I'm telling you, man. But again, it's, it's a part of making money. It is what it is. What are, we, what are you trying to do? You know what I mean? Okay, so let's see. Sell so ask price. You said why not average down? You could. You could. But remember, you got to play it how, how you how you got in is how you got to get out. If the MACD tells you to get in, when the MACD tells you to get out, you get out. You play it. If you add your emotion later, then you you get messed up, right? So now, just straight up like that. And you play it straight. If the MACD is showing you weakness and we're showing weakness on a resistance, then you could ride a put. And then you could just jump into a call and jump into a put and jump into a call and jump into a put, right? Rinse and repeat, just like that. You said uh, hoodie hat game on point. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so what am I looking for before I would buy any more, right? I want to see, now that we got the RSI all the way down here to 48, I want to see if we're going to see any, any weakness or any strength down here. Right now, the MACD is showing weakness, which we identified over here. 
right? We identified it over here. But understand, we want to see what's up with it. Straight up. Okay. So now let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on. And remember, you identified it like I told you before. We seen it about to cross over here like I told you the first time. Boom. And then we were looking for it to spread like this with the blue line going more deep under the orange. And then that was happening. You understand what I'm saying? Now, what will we be looking for to see if we're going to see any strength? Is the blue line going to get closer to the orange? I'm really trying to just show you how this is working. Somebody said hood is tanking. Please, <laughs> Yo, I was talking about this yesterday on Twitter. Let's see it. Oh, my goodness. It is. Family, let's let's just take a step back for a second. Look at Robin Hood. $85 all the way down to where it is today. Do you see this? To 14. Let's go to Twitter real quick. If you ain't following me on Twitter, please feel free to go ahead and do so. So check this out. Let's go to, so we're on Robin Hood. Twitter, where's my thing right here? All right, yeah. Twitter, Keenan Grace. Look at this, 12 hours ago. I said, Kathy is getting smoked on Robin Hood stock. Take a look at this. Remember back in November, she was just buying more and more and more Robin Hood family? And then, look at it, 52 week low. Yesterday was 52, I'm sorry, $14.26. Look where it got today. It got to 14.18 today. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. You said PLTR? I'm still sitting in some leaps. PLTR? It shot up a bit, but it's, it's basically stagnant. It's basically stagnant. I'm still in some leaps, though. So let's see. Let's go back to Lucid, see if we're seeing any strength at all. Not yet. Not yet. Not strength. We want to see this. Boom. Go up. You said Robin Hood is getting karma? Hey. <laughs> it is what it is. Straight up. It is what it is. Okay. So remember, if the MACD tells you, it's, hey, it's time, it's time. You listen to it. That's how you play defense. You said Kathy Wood invested in the hood. He said, I need a drink. That, yeah, isn't that, isn't that something? It's something, huh? Okay, so let's see. Come on. We showing that weakness. You going to pull up on us or not? Straight up. Because one thing, too, is you don't really want to be babysit something forever. I I, I can't. I can't. If, I, if I'm on the swing trade, I can't be in this one literally forever. You know what I'm saying? So now, okay, yeah. Look, I'm seeing the weakness. So then what do I do? The first thing I'll do is I let it I let it tank a little bit and then I average down and then I let her go. Straight up. You said, why what is she? It's her money. She's actually not investing only her money. She's investing other people's money. She's a, an asset manager. So yeah, that's that's one of the issues. Okay. So now, again, remember though. How I talked to you about this earlier. Notice when we were over here and we started to see the MACD come over here and then finally cross over. And I tell you, if you get in on the MACD, you got to get out on the MACD. Do you see what you see what happens? It crosses and then you just listen to it and then you could get in and get out and get in and get out. Right. It's just like that. You just listen to the MACD and then you will take your emotions totally out of it. Right. You get in. Boom. It's like, oh, we're coming down, we're coming down. It crossed over. You listen, just listen, just listen. And then if you see it cross back up, you get back in, and then, boom, you make money like that. So now, what we want to see is this blue cross over this orange, because then that would be us listening again and saying, okay, let's win. Yo, Mr. I can't say your name, Mr. Cap. 
I can't say your name, but I hope you get you safety, family safety, much safety. Safety. BBIG, let's come back to him. BBIG, let's go. And remember, like I was telling you before, that MACD thing, you see this? Crossed over it, rock it. Crossed over it, rock it. You just listen to it. And it is what it is. All right. So now, Lucid, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a little bit more of it. Right? I buy a little bit more of it to bring my average down. And then I'm looking to get out of it. Because I'm trading this on the MACD, and the MACD is staying under this orange line, so then I don't want to just be holding on. You understand what I'm saying? If it crosses over, then I say, yeah, 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 okay, cool. Show me something. Show me something. Okay. Show me something, Lucid. I'm not trying to babysit this because, again, what am I going to do? I show you what happens when you hit a tree. And then what do you do? Because sometimes when you get into a play, it don't necessarily immediately go your way. So then how do you handle that? So look, now we got the MACD coming over, but we want to see, does it get crossed or does it get rejected? And I'm going to play that as my level. I'm going to play that. So if it crosses, I'll sit in it. But if it gets rejected right here, I'm just going to let her go. Because again, you want to have a mixture between, okay, this thing is, I'm getting in on a MACD, I'm getting out on a MACD. Let's see. What do I mean? Does the blue line go over? That's going to be my yes or no. Straight up. Simple as that. You said keen is teaching options straight up. Because, again, some, some people end up down a million percent. And I'm not having that. You know what I mean? You just listen to the MACD. And whatever it tells you, you go with that. Obviously, among other things. But we're getting closer and closer. That's a good sign. Here we go. I'm taking I'm keeping my emotions totally out of it. Totally, totally out of it. Yeah, here we go. And now I'm up a hundred and something dollars. Here we go. Come on. Are you gonna cross over or not? You see this blue? I'm waiting to see. Or are we going to get pump up, baby? I just want to see it just go bow. <laughs> bow. Here we go. Uh, come on. Come on. And again, family, so I want you to really understand. Like, what do you do when you hit a tree? So notice, I bought a call, hit a tree, like I was talking about, right? So then, then it's going up because some people, again, they scared to trade on live because they don't know what to do. If they're snowboarding, <laughs> if they're snowboarding, then bow, they come a tree, right? They don't know what to do. They get lost. But when you have skills and techniques, you look, I'm just playing this off the MACD. I'm literally, I'm literally just watch, I'm allowing you. To watch me play this off the MACD. Now, if it gets rejected right here and starts to go down, like I'm starting to see, I'll just totally be like, yeah, I'm out. But if it crosses over, that, that'd be great. That blue crossover, I'm be like, oh, yeah, I'm holding on. But then when I see it get rejected or either come back down, I'm like, yeah, I'm letting this one go. What are we doing? Starting to look like. 
rejection. Let's see. Again, remember, you see that? It looks like it's finding this orange line as a resistance. This is what I'm trying to show you. Can I talk about dates on an option? The further out, the less risk, less reward. The closer, the higher the risk, the higher the reward. <clears throat> yeah, this is just an example, family, of how to use the MACD. This is all this is. This is all this is. Just straight up. I don't imagine that you're going to be just following me like to a T. It won't work. So, yeah, look at that. I told you I like $100 bills. Right now, I'm basically up $200. You watched me do it. This one took longer than maybe 15 minutes or so, but I'm up 7%. Remember, you might be asking yourself, oh, man, 7%, blah, 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 blah. But guess what? It's not about that. It's about the $200. So what am I going to do? I'm looking to see if the MACD is going to cross over and just go on a rocket. But to be honest, since I already got $200, here's a lesson in taking profit. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. See ya. I made $200. I like $200. That's good enough for me. Do you understand? So how did I do this? I didn't get greedy. I made $200. I could have waited for the MACD to cross over and try to make more money than that. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe this thing will go to a million dollars each. But it's not about that. It's about, like I was telling you when we first got on this, you get so caught up on, is this 100%? Is this da, 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 that you forget that you're trying to make money. You see what I'm saying? We're trying to make money at the end of the day. So then I made 7%. I'm just going to make money on it right here. So then this is how you play options. So then... We could wait for the MACD to either cross over because notice we're kind of like they're, they're neck and neck together. Right. So then I just let it go. Now, we might come back to this later and say, yo, this thing is going to the moon. Whoa. Right. It is what it is. I can't tell the future, but I could tell the charts. Oh, and look at that. You see. You see how it's somewhat starting to expand. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go, Lucid. So it looks like potentially there was even more money to make here than $200. But, hey, it is what it is. I, I got $200 I didn't have before. So I take it. I take it. Each one of these contracts, each costs $130. They cost about $135 right now. The cheapest one I got was when it was $128. And look at that. Pump, baby. Pump, 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 pump. Hey, Lucid, do your thing. Do your thing. So now we let Lucid do whatever it want to do. That's fine with me. I got in. I got up. I got out. And I could get back in. I could get back in when I see the MACD cross over just like it is doing right now. Do you see that? Just let's try it again. Let's literally try what we just tried again. I'm going to buy the same exact option. I, I sold it and I just made $200. I'm going to use that $200 and buy another. They currently cost 160. And let's see. I'm playing with house money. I'm playing with house money and let's see what we can get. So I'm filled. I got one. I'm literally in the game. Check stocks of the week. I'm literally in the game for free and I'm loading up again. Now, remember, I don't expect you to be able to follow this out to a T. I just want you to sh I want to show you because I'm here to teach you. I'm not here for you to just be following me. I want to make you independent. But I'm giving you a proof of concept. I'm giving you a proof of concept. I got in on the MACD, the blue line crossing over. So now when I see it coming back down. When I see it coming back down, then I say, OK, I'll get out. So, OK. Letting it, letting it do its thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. If I see the MACD coming back down, I get out. You see what I'm saying? 
But right now, it's not coming down just yet. And it actually broke a resistance. But will to show real strength is if it breaks this up here, this 41, 43. We break that family. That's really, that's really, really strong. Okay. So now, yep, still pushing, still pushing. What am I running this on? The MACD. Straight up. Straight up. Here we go. I'm, I'm literally basically not even thinking about this. I'm just running it on the MACD. That's all I'm doing. If it starts to show me weakness and I start to see this blue line coming back down to the orange, I'll let her go. But I'm in the game for free. I got one contract. Right? Let me let me give you a lesson in playing with house money. What does it mean to play with house money? I already locked in my profits. Take a look. I made two hundred dollars. I let it go. I then bought another one. For 164. If this whole 164 that I are already earned today on this goes to zero, I could care less. That would mean I still made a few dollars, right? But I would be up. I locked in the profit. But now I'm playing with house money. Where did I get this one? Can you see this? Where did I get this 146? I got it from here that I made earlier. So I'm playing with house money. So it's no, this is no risk. This is a no risk trade for me now. And now it's up 9%. But do you see how you, let me, let me share this with you again. Yeah. And how am I playing this family? I'm playing it straight on the map. It's up 17%. It's going bananas. It's going bananas. Hold up. Oh my goodness. RIP to those who got puts. On Lucid. I'm just straight up trading this on the MACD. And you're watching me do it live. And, and truth be told, what you did was the first time that I bought it right here, you watched it go down. And then you watch me, like I said, run into a tree. And then how do I handle it, family? How do I handle it? Let me, let me open this up so you can just see. I remember. Well, I'm playing with free money. I'm playing with free money. How am I playing with free money? This 164 is free for me. No risk. Because I made 200 on it. And now that made another 33, which I couldn't have more on it. But I just want to show y'all how to just play responsibly and literally win and have no risk. So now I'm going to let her go. Why? I see the MACD. Starting to try to approach that orange line again. So then I'm going to take my emotions all the way out of it. And then just take my money and go. Take my money and go. Let's say that it starts to turn around again. Then I would just get in again. You see what I'm saying, family? Let's just see what I just did. Let's summarize. And what am I doing here? I'm not saying, oh, look at me, look at me. I'm trying to show you that when you get into, everybody could get into a call and then it runs up. What do you do? You just sit there. It's like going fast when you're skiing or snowboarding. Everybody could go fast. You get on a sled, you could go fast. But what do you do when you see a tree and it gets in your way? Then you got to know how to play it, right? So this is what happened to me. I bought a call right here. No, I want to say I bought a call right here. It started to go up and then it started to come down. I bought more. It started to go up. I let it go. I let it go and I took my $200. I like $100 bills. I definitely like $200 bills. So then I took it and I let it go. Right? It's only 7%. You got to remember. You got to remember. It ain't about the 7. It's about the 200. We're trying to make money. Right? Okay, cool. Got it. I got $200 I just made. How about I use that $200 to see if I can make even more money with it? Because now I put in 164 and then it just made me 20% of that, which was 33 I could have put in more, but do you understand what I'm saying? All I want to do, all I want to do is just understand, look, I'm not, I'm not playing this. 
I'm not trying to be a super genius with it. It's so simple that I'm just literally, oh, the MACD crossed over, call. The MACD is starting to get closer back, jump out. Straight like that. Straight like that. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just trying to show you how to use it and how to win because I'm here to educate you. Now, I want you to hit the Discord link so you could come over and you could join the options class and you could learn how to rock with us and how to win, right? It's about knowing how to win. It ain't about just tomorrow I'm going to get a put on it because da 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 da, da. You got to know how to do it. So how do you do this when you have a small account? Somebody had a great idea. Let's say that you understand what I'm saying, but you are limited to... You are limited to about, let's, K, let's, let's call it this. You're limited to three day trades, right? This is what you do when you're limited. You use that to your advantage. You see what I'm saying? You use it to your advantage. And then in this case, when you're using it to your advantage, what you're doing is you say, okay, I got three day trades. This is all I could do in a week. And it is what it is. How did you jump out? Yeah, I sold it and I just let it go. I let her go because I started to see the MACD started to show me, oh, yeah, it's trying to get closer to this line. And maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you wrong. Maybe you right. But I'm using the indicators to think for me. I'm not doing it with my heart where I'm like, yo, it just feels right. I just got to hold on. No, no, no. We're not feeling right. We're not doing none of that. We letting the MACD tell you. MACD, blue line cross up. Hey, I like calls. Blue line cross down. Oh, I'm selling it or I'm buying puts, right? That's how we doing it. That's how we rolling. That's how we rocking. So like, let's say, let's say, for example, because I did it twice. You just watched me make money with this twice. Notice that the blue line, sometimes it doesn't cross. Sometimes it likes to be, it likes to hit the orange and then the orange is a support. That will show you strength again. You see what I'm saying? That will show you strength again. So now if it broke under, that will show you the weakness. So then uh, straight up like that. So yeah, if you have a, a pattern day trade rule and everything like that, you use it to your example or to your advantage. You use it to your advantage. And you say, okay, if I can only trade three times, then that's all you could do. And you just win like that. You don't try to, you know what I'm saying, overextend and then get locked out of your account. So now, family, I appreciate y'all. I hope that you learn something here. It's 3,000 people in the building. Could we get it to, fit? yo, we got 1,500 likes. I appreciate y'all. And just know, I had to play a smooth jam for us. So you know I'm getting demonetized. But I love y'all. And if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, join the Discord so you can learn how to win with the winning team. And you can think three-dimensionally rather than I'm just buying a put today or I'm just buying a none of that, none of that. You got to know how to play it. You got to know how to read the MACD, baby. I'm here for the people. I got your back.